10 o'clock at night on a Friday. But you know what my unpregnant wife wants at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday? That's right, she wants some chicken and some hot taro tea for my tea. So what does a real husband do? Let me show you what a real husband does. Watch me whip. Watch me hang out. Hi. Benjamin Robinson. Benjamin Robinson. Yeah, check out my vlog. <laughs> Subscribe, like. <laughs> <laughs> Some place, huh? Yeah. You come here often? Oh, yeah. Regular. Nice. Oh, she's a regular. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm here because my wife sent me here at 10 o'clock at night. Oh, it's worth it. Oh, you're it is such worth a good it. Husband. I, I try to be. Yeah. That's how you please your woman. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Go to IT. <laughs> she's not even pregnant. <laughs> I want to become an engineer, but... Really? What kind of an engineer? I don't know yet. I'm only a freshman, so... <laughs> okay, here's the, here's the question. Oh, God. What are you passionate about? Um, I'm not too sure yet. Okay, let me restate the question. Okay. What world problem pisses you off? I'd say racism right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just like everything with the election. Okay. Secondly, what world problem makes you want to cry? Hmm. Probably animal abuse. Animal like, abuse. Seeing okay. those like animals on the commercials. Is okay. Really sad. Third question. Okay. What do you absolutely love to do? I like doing that. Really? Yeah. Just to be honest. You must be a proud papa. Yeah. 
out of the seven kids, he's the only one that wants to be an engineer like me. You're an engineer? Yeah. Wow. What kind of engineer? Um, industrial. Industrial engineer. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Here's how you discover your destiny, Russell. I'm going to help right. you out. Thank you. Your destiny is a combination of your gifts and your passions. If you can locate your primary gift and bring it into the service of your primary passion, you'll have discovered your destiny. Let me give you an example. I'll give you an example. You like that? Yeah. Okay. I got a friend named Guillermo. Guillermo was like a, a gangster. Never finished high school. His main passion is this human trafficking thing. Like like all of these young ladies that are being kidnapped and turned into prostitutes and all of that. Like it's his heart breaks for that. Like when he sees girls out on the street and stuff. Like if he could do anything in life, he'd want to pull them off the street. But his gift was making pizza. So he's like, how can I make pizza and use that to, to pull girls off the street? So he opened his own pizza restaurant. It's called Sliver Pizzeria. It's in Berkeley. And he gives a percentage of the profits to help pull. And he also is a spokesman for several different organizations that rescue girls off the street. So he's bringing his gifts into the service of his passion. And that is the definition of fulfillment in your work. What was this pizza place called? Uh, Sliver Pizzeria. Sliver Pizzeria. He also owns Guacamole 61 in Berkeley. It's a Mexican restaurant. You guys got to check that yeah, out. Yeah, And he's your friend. He's my buddy. He's my homie. He's my dog. All right, now. My food's ready, so I'm going to go get that. All right. I think mine, too. So you guys have a good night. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you guys. Thanks for talking. Appreciate it a lot. One day's a wrap, one today They don't see things the same Two more back, two out the door Then you have magic Ha <laughs> ha